Hey everybody, it's Ray Latticer again with Dogwood Tales. Okay, so the evaporator coil on my air conditioning system had frozen over pretty bad. So I turned off the AC system and I just ran the whole house fan. And after about an hour, the coil had thawed out completely. There are two main reasons why an AC system will freeze over like this. In my particular case, it was a dirty air filter and a dirty evaporator coil. So here is the evaporator coil and I need to get this triangular metal piece in the middle out of the way so I can clean the underside of the A-frame coil. That's where most of the dirt will be. Now I'm not an AC tech and I don't have the tools to remove the coolant lines from the evaporator coil, but I do have tin snips. I attempted to cut this sheet metal in half so I could remove it in two pieces. In the end, I couldn't get the tin snips all the way across and I ended up having to shimmy out the metal plate anyway. I removed the chimney to the furnace to give myself more room to work. However, this left an opportunity for screws and things to fall down into the furnace, which I do not want to happen. So I improvised and I covered that opening with my dust mask. Now just look how dirty and disgusting it is on the bottom side of this coil. It's like a quarter inch thick layer of gross dryer lint. Yuck! Below this A-frame is the heat manifold and I do not want to knock all that stuff off and down into the system. So I carefully vacuumed it off. Notice that I do not swipe the vacuum duster across the coils. I only lightly tap it and allow the vacuum to do the rest of the work. Doing this made a big improvement, but there's still more cleaning to do. I bought some no rinse evaporator coil cleaner and I sprayed on a heavy layer of that onto the top and bottom side of the evaporator coil. I let that soak in for a while to give it time to eat into the dust inside the coil fins. Even though this is a no rinse cleaner, I used a spray bottle of plain water to expedite the rinsing. I also poured some water down into the collection tray to flush the dirt out and down into the drain. Now with all that done, it's time to put this metal plate back in place. You may be wondering, why didn't I finish cutting that piece all the way across while it was still out? And that way I could have more easily put it back in as two pieces. Honestly, I'm wondering that too. But since I forgot to video the removing of that metal plate, at least now you can see me struggle to put it back in the same way I got it out. This A-frame coil is not bolted down, so I was able to lift it up just about an inch or two, and that gave me just enough clearance to put the plate back in. I also did that when I was taking the plate out. Once the middle plate was screwed back in place, I sealed up that cut I made with some aluminum tape. Then I just had to put everything back together and my house is cool again. Thanks for watching! Please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe! You have a great day now!